Here's our uh, first chart of the night, uh, one of 20 chart examples that we'll be looking at for our uh, technical trader newsletter subscribers. I appreciate you subscribing. Uh, we had a uh, current short-term trading range here with uh, 284.37 as uh, resistance, which this is the all-time uh, adjusted high for dividends on the chart. So we made this high, we, bro we broke out to the new uh, high here, but it ended up being uh, uh, rejected and we had a little swing lower here. The current short-term support is uh, around one, around uh, 278.50. We go back here to uh, July 13th to see the low at 278.66. So since this day, even uh, July 12th's uh, open has really been the... Uh, short-term support in this chart for the last uh, few weeks as we get into uh, early August. We haven't really broken and stayed higher. It's just been uh, chopping around uh, high rejected. So we're actually in a support here, 278, um, 278.50 support and uh, resistance at 284.37 in this short-term range. Uh, the uh, SPY remains within striking distance of breaking out to new all-time highs. Uh, the unadjusted high is 286.63, uh, not adjusting for dividends. So we did actually have a 286.63 print on the SPY, uh, excluding uh, uh, the dividends uh, unadjusted. Uh, anytime you have a chart near all-time highs, that's bullish. It's bullish to be uh, where you've run out of sellers and almost everybody is profitable that's inside of the trade. Uh, the more attempts we have here to break out, the greater the odds that we will break out. Uh, we are currently in the range, but this is uh, very bullish. You know, we'll be looking to buy the dips and to buy the pullbacks, not to try to, I mean, to sell short is still not really going to pay off here as all of this uh, shorting after this recent breakout of resistance did not pay off. So I'm still looking at the best risk reward ratio is to buy dips. Uh, not to sell short or sell strength at this point in the SP500. The 10-day EMA, 50-day EMA uh, bullish crossover uh, is still uh, in in place here. Way back here, it was a, a trend-following signal that is also a bullish indicator. We didn't quite get a, a pullback here, which was what I was uh, looking for for a new entry. So instead, I was trading the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA off of their 200-day break back and the... Uh, the crossover I got over on the uh, the, the DIA, I got the 1050 cross under to, to get long over there. So uh, the SPY, though, overall is a bullish chart. We have a fresh MACD bullish crossover here. Uh, RSI at 6349 uh, still gives us room to go higher before we get overbought. Uh, previous resistance correlated with the previous all-time high along with the 70 RSI. So... That held, so we could easily break out again and go to a 70 RSI and uh, grind sideways here to set up for a new long position. The uh, average trading range, average true range, is still stagnant here. Not really, uh, not really uh, giving us much. The uh, the VIX actually ended Friday low. If we look at it. We actually ended at 1164 on uh, Friday, and uh, this was a, a low that we haven't seen since way back here on the big uh, May 4th uh, drop under the 200-day the on the VIX and reversal. So this was uh, the lowest we've had on the VIX since way back in uh, May of 2018 right here. So this is still a very, the VIX really means the cost of buying put options on the SP500. The, it's how expensive they are to get hedge risk. So it shows that the majority is really not charging that much for insurance on the on the SP500 right now. So right now, very bullish. The volume uh, stayed steady as we uh, try to reverse, reverse here. We did have this uh, Nice bullish uh, engulfing candlestick here on uh, Thursday, showing uh, lows lows rejected over these pre of this previous range to try to break below the, the lows and then reverse strongly. Then we had a carryover Friday, so this chart 
right now in the present moment is is bullish and showing uh, all steam ahead for the uptrend. I mean, we could still go sideways, but the whole point of this is if you're long, stay long. If you uh, get a chance to buy a dip back, buy the dip. And, uh, you know, not a lot of fuel here for calling for a crash. There is this current signals are uh, for bulls to have all steam ahead.